In this video, we explain how to mount a Premio Plus 2G actuator on an ARRI control valve. For this, we need the following parts. First, we make sure that the valve is installed in a pressureless system. Then clarify whether the actuator is suitable for the valve. To do this, the travel range of the valve and actuator have to be compared. The fitting projection, X 83mm, is measured on the valve. Therefore, the plug is located in the seat. Alternatively, the fitting projection can also be found in the detailed operating instructions. The Premio cover must be removed from the actuator. The trip slide is removed using the Premio multi-tool. The adjustment dimension is then measured from the lower edge of the locking nut to the upper edge of the spindle. For yoke construction, this is 57mm. The trip slide is then snapped into the top groove using the Premio multi-tool. The coupling is screwed out of the torsion safety feature of the thrust actuator. Then move the valve plug to a medium travel position to protect the plug from damage. After that, slide the coupling over the valve stem and turn the flat hexagon nut and the threaded bushing onto the valve stem. Carefully press the plug back into the seat to measure the setting dimension Y 102mm and adjust if necessary. The plug is returned to a middle travel position in order to lock the threaded bushing with the hexagon nut with a torque of 46nm. In the next step, the actuator is placed on the valve. To do this, press the plug back into the seat. The hand wheel of the actuator must point to the outlet side of the valve. The outlet side can be identified by the arrow on the valve. The driving spindle is lowered so far that it rests lightly on the threaded bushing. The coupling is screwed hands tight into the red torsion safety feature. Make sure that the stem locking device is correctly seated. Now the yoke is screwed to the crossbar. Pay attention to the torque of 50 Nm. Then lift the plug slightly out of the seat using the hand wheel in order to screw the coupling to the torsion safety feature at a torque of 80 Nm. The grub screw must now be hand tight screwed into the red torsion safety feature. After that, skilled personnel can apply the voltage. It is important that the voltage on the type plate matches the power supply of the actuator. In addition, it must be checked whether we do have a three-step signal or an analog signal. In our example, we have a three-step signal. Now we can start the initialization process by switching to automatic mode and pressing the initialization button for five seconds. After a successful initialization process, the green light lights up. Lastly, the stroke scale can be aligned manually. For this, the plug is located in the seat and the neutral axis will be adjusted with the upper end of red, the torsion safety feature. 